All right, well, <clears throat> don't have any sun today, so I thought I would take a couple of my grid tie inverters here and take them apart. See what they look like inside. So we got the Sun 250G, which I've talked about, and we got the Power Jack 300. Just looking on the ends, here's the Sun. You can see it's just got a regular plug. It does have a, this is the exhaust port for the fan, and it has a switch for the 115, 220 I believe, and then uh, the power jack has the same looking backside, but it only supports the 110, at least the one I have. Otherwise, uh, looks the same. Let's go back to the other side of the sun. I've taken the terminal lugs off of there, but <clears throat> same kind of uh, outputs. And uh, you can see the fan in there. Similar thing on the power jack. Let's open them up. Okay, here's the sun unit. You actually, to take the top off, you just need to take the four top screws out. And then the lid comes right off. On that one. And the same on the uh, power jack. <clears throat> we'll just initially just look at the layout of things. This is the power jack. This is the Sun 250. Okay, <clears throat> let's go over some differences here between the two. First thing I note is on the in input side here is this little circuit board has an extra transistor on it and it has a buzzer on it and what I suspect is that the Sun 250 has a reverse polarity alarm so if you connect up your uh, panels or your wind turbine uh, with the plus or minus wrong this will alarm it whereas you go over to the the power jack and they don't have that buzzer and they don't have that sense transistor they just have one transistor there I'm not quite sure what it's used for without having the schematic. So that's <clears throat> one difference. The uh, Everything else on the board between the two is essentially identical. There are the fuse that is in here for the Sun is a 30 amp fuse. And the fuse that's in here for the power jack is a 20 amp fuse. So that's the second difference. <clears throat> the coils here for the uh, have a heat shrink on them mainly for probably safety protection. You don't have that on these coils here for the power jack. However, they there's a lot of hot glue because obviously these have been breaking off in transit. The ones on the uh, Sun don't have that. So there is some here on this one, but uh, these three are obviously a lot more put on the power jack when they ship those. The uh, capacitors, you can see near these coils here are quite large. I suspect they have a higher breakdown voltage than the smaller ones that are used with the power jack. <clears throat> the switch for the 220-110 switch is here on the Sun and wired in to the corner of the board here and doesn't exist at all on this particular power jack that I have. So at least on the top surface side there's not a whole lot of differences. Uh, there is this one capacitor here on the power jack that isn't mounted on this on the uh, Sun and that's a 0.22 microfarad 250 volt DC 
capacitor. Again, without the schematic, I can't make a judgment of uh, what's, what it's used for. But that is the only real board difference. Now, <clears throat> what's along the side here, are these are the bridge diodes that are tied to the outer heat sink. And then you have a similar, you have uh, MOSFET transistors along this heat sink side. And uh, those are the ones that get hot. You can tell they were all mounted pretty well. Nothing's loose there. This one heat sink bracket they put on there was put on opposite of these other three. <clears throat> but the heat that you'll get built up will be built up mainly along this wall. And so they use the airflow through this channel and out here as the way to cool the units. And you won't really get any airflow uh, over in this area, but maybe there isn't much heat to worry about there. But, you know, the, <clears throat> looking at how these are mounted, they both are pretty similar as far as the workmanship, I would say, between the, the two units. So I'm going to open up the bottom side and we'll take a look at that next. Okay, I took these four screws out of the side here that holds on the uh, MOSFET brackets. And then there's also four screws that hold on the four diode brackets on both of them. Everything is off. And the boards uh, go in there, they just slide in. So I can just slide it in or out one end. It doesn't matter. So let me do that, I'll be right back. Actually, before I do that, I just want to point out here on the, the power jack, it uses a, an insulator slash heat conductive material, a whole strip of it along the way behind the diodes. On the sun unit, they're individual little pieces. And there's some heat shrink, or not, I mean uh, heat uh, conductive uh, liquid paste that's behind each of those. And you can see the same thing on the uh, their individual little pieces for the MOSFETs. And on the power jack, at least the one I have here, it's a long strip. And uh, so you can see some of the MOSFETs have uh, <clears throat> are conductive. So that acts as an insulator, electrical insulator from the heat sink, as well as, as a heat transfer membrane. Okay, just got to be very careful as you're prying away these parts. They have to come off, slightly get pried away before this whole uh, board assembly can slide out from the case. Alright, see if I can just show you how it slides out. They just slide out uh, From this extruded heat sink. And now the sun is out on its own. Or excuse me, this is the power jack. Now let me, let me do the sun. Okay, so now I got the sun out of its uh, case. You can see some of the uh, heat sink heat sink insulator material is still on those and some are on the case. I'll make sure that all gets lined up when I put it back together. And then uh, same with the power jack. Now one thing I didn't point out, you can see these, I think I mentioned it, but there's this big capacitor here, there's another one here that's on the on the uh, power jack, but they are not mounted on the sun. So the there isn't a hundred percent part differences or parts compatibility but the circuit board itself has the exact rev number and the date it's August 2609 on that and the same on the power on the printed wiring board here so they're they're, they're essentially the exact same printed wiring board just slightly depopulated or populated slightly differently between the two <clears throat> all right let me flip it over here and we'll take a look and talk about the differences. Okay, here's the back side of the sun. And just looking at it one-to-one, -one, uh, 
they're basically exactly populated identically as far as all the surface mount components. There's essentially uh, three integrated circuits here, here, and here. Same on the sun, here, here, and here. All the part numbers have been sanded off so I was hoping to be able to get some part, part numbers off of these. <clears throat> the fact the underside of this board the other side here has a connector tells me that, that this is probably an a, a processor, a little microcontroller. There's a, cr a crystal here for the clock and that connector is basically a, for some uh, in-circuit testing as well as probably some reprogramming possibly um, diagnostics or whatever for both, both units. So the same circuit board same population. The power jack has some uh, uh, feet, little uh, rubber feet here to basically hold it up above the bottom heat sink so that in transportation it, uh, it has a little bit stiffer mechanical um, capability and won't uh, have um, flexing of the circuit board where the sun unit didn't ha did not have that. The sun also doesn't have these little pots, uh, cavities filled for where the big coils are below, but those are filled in on the power jack. So probably the power jack are built a little higher volume and they had more failures. So they've done a few things mechanically to make this survive probably the journey from China a little bit more uh, effectively. And they have less, less field returns or less uh, <clears throat> DOA units when they when they get delivered to the to the customer. So I'll take some high resolution photos here and I'll uh, have those in the description area for anybody who wants to study the tops and bottoms of each of these. All right, we got everything back together again. It took about uh, 20 minutes to put them back together, each one of them. A little easier to take them apart then to put them back together. The screws on the power jack were a little longer so that was a little easier to put in than on the sun but otherwise not too bad.